Hey everyone, this is Stevie Richards. Welcome back to the Home Gym. And in today's video, we are going to respond to a YouTube comment I got on the Force USA G3 three months later updated review video. And this person had an excellent question. During that video, I had done rear delt flies on the cable system here on the G3, and they were wondering what the range was for chest flies. So I'm going to demonstrate this today. We have another camera angle because this is a play loaded machine. This isn't a pin stack. So there are space considerations, especially on the inside of a unit like the G3, an all one trainer like the G3. So what we're going to do is test the range out without the bumper plates. And then what we're going to do is actually load one of these bumper plates. Now with bumper plates, the thickness really comes into play when loading it on the sleeves. And we have my cat Mia getting into the picture. Uh, but I'm more concerned with the height of the plate in this regard. And also I'm going to point out something back here with the G3 that I need to do in order to have uh, no uh, blockage or obstacle when putting any plate on, bumper plate or even the, the metal plates that we have loaded to the storage rack. So we're going to do it without the bumper plates and we're going to test the range out. I might even go out of camera range. So I'm going to start at the highest point here and bring it down on two sides. Now I can go with the handles that come with the G3. I'm going to test it out with just the hook. You're not going to chest fly like this, but I want to just document everything. So I could literally do a chest fly holding these hooks right out here and the range, boom. So I'm probably might even be a little bit off camera here. I'm basically almost to the tip of where the power block dumbbells are. So probably about maybe a foot from the wall. So, and if you're wondering how big my home gym is, we did a separate video on how big this space is right here with the strength area. We have a yoga and stretching and meditation area here, but this particular area is all strength. And then we have cardio off camera towards that wall. So let's now try the handles without any weight. And the cool part about the G3 is it comes with these handles that are pretty customizable as far as your reach and how far you have to go out or the tightness or, or limitations of the space of your home gym. So let's just go with the furthest out here. And this stretches it out quite a bit. So like I said, you're not going to do any flies with the hook. So let's come out here. So as I come out here, we still have even further actually than the hook. So that's pretty, uh, that's pretty cool. So you have more range there. And if you want to tighten up the range, you can just use one of these hooks. Now, obviously you're not going to load zero weight when you're doing cable flies, but you're not going to go maybe super heavy. I don't go super heavy. Let's just put a pair of tens here, one ten on each side. Now, remember if I'm just doing one side, this is going to be uh, two to one ratio. So even with cable flies, it's still going to be a two to one ratio. Unlike if I was going to put a bar across here to do lat pull downs and load the plates on both sides, that makes it essentially a one to one. This is still going to be a two to one ratio. So pretty much what I'm doing here is loading this and it's going to be five pounds each, not much at all, but just for the sake of demonstration. And on this iPhone camera angle that we have here pointing up towards the top, I want to see if there's any kind of blockage as I go out or anything like that. There should not be, but I'm going to show you something real quick that may happen as the play comes up and as I go away from the G3. Now, always I try to be a little safe here, step in. Now you can already see right there, if I move out, I have the range. I still have really good range to do flies. And that's what the, First hook. So I'm off camera basically, and it starts, it jams right there. So I'm literally maybe about 18 inches to two feet away from the wall. I am pretty much across the whole length of this home gym. So that's good range right there. If you need it to have that much range, well, like I said, you can shorten it up by just doing this. So if you're in a tight area, say we were back in the second bedroom, the original home gym location, I wouldn't be able to go all the way across, or maybe I would the way, however I set it up. 
but that tightens it up right there and I'm able to do flies in a lot tighter of an area. I can still come out a little bit, but my range is obviously shortened a little bit by having the hooks tighter and having this handle closer to the cables. So that's it right down there. What I wanted to point out, and you kind of probably saw it a little bit, this bar right here doesn't really go into the hook because we have a plate back here. So when I work with the cable system here on the G3, I just put that cambered bar, that cambered curl bar back there, and it doesn't get in the way at all. Now I want to see right here, as I pull it up, I want to see that's as far up as it goes because what happens with the bumper plates is they hit the Smith machine bar, which is plenty of room. Like I said, I'm almost across the gym by that point. Now the other way you can go with this, if you don't have bumper plates, you can go with smaller plates. Like I can even go up to a quarter with this, but say we have a 10 pound plate on each side or a quarter or a 35, whatever it might be. Remember, it's a two to one ratio. So if you put 70 pounds on each side, it's gonna be 35 on each side. So keep that in mind when you're doing it, but I'm gonna face it this way and see where we go. So now it's not in the way of the Smith machine bar. So keep that in mind that if you have bumper plates, they could get in the way of the Smith machine bar at the top if the Smith machine bar is located at the top of the G3. Just trying to be as detailed as possible with this, but as you can see, outside of some restrictions or caveats, depending upon if you're using bumper plates, and also, of course, the size of your home slash garage, gym, studio, living room, dining room, bedroom, whatever you might be, wherever you might be, let's say it right, let's say it correctly, you have a lot of room. You have a lot of range. And like I said, check out the video of how big this square footage is, especially going this way, because you'll get a really good idea of the range of these cables. I think it, there's a lot of range here, especially with the footprint of something like the G3, even the G6 and the G12. Uh, you also have the G9, which is a little bit wider, uh, but the G6 and the G12 have quite a good footprint and have quite a bit of range. The G6, I believe, would have uh, more range because it's taller. The G12 is wider, so it might feel a little bit shorter, and I might go to the G12 from the G3 someday when the space is bigger to compare that. But taller in this case with the G3 and the G6, in my opinion, will give you more range on a cable movement like the flies, or if you want to do rows, or like I did in the updated review, rear Dell flies. So keep that in mind. Remember to leave a comment below. I'm trying to answer these. As a matter of fact, there might be a dedicated compilation video coming soon from time to time where I answer your home gym questions or cardio or strength, whatever it might be, having an arcade cabinet in the home gym, whatever it might be, please leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Also subscribe, click the bell, I get notified. And as it goes here with the Force USA stuff, please go to forceusa.com forward slash Stevie. You'll save a little bit of money and it helps fund the content here on the YouTube channel. You can also go to steverichardsfitness.com. Check out all the resistance band training programs there as well. And also we have a bunch of affiliate links and codes in that description below. So thank you guys so much. God bless each and every one of you. Have a great day.